Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I am here with the dogs. It's super hot today. So we're inside. We've got Scout out. He's having a good time. I noticed that his ears actually started to flop over, which I thought was interesting. Um, so it looks like his ears may actually kind of go down at the tips. Um, they're still pretty upright. Um, at the base, but the tips are just coming down, which makes sense. He's a puppy, and so when dogs get older, that that can happen. They their ears will change when they, they have really tall ears like that. Um, so yeah, but he's been doing good. He just got through eating, so he's a little chunky. Um, yeah. So, um, I did speak with a couple of my breeder friends last night about our new girl here. Um, I've been calling her Penelope, and I showed them the video of her movement and some other things about her, and um, they all agreed that she just wasn't breed quality. Um, it's one of those things where people can be really good at taking pictures um, and you know, in, in that particular case, you know, it's just, as some people say, it's the MySpace angles, you know, they're really good at getting her angles. And, um, anyway, and so she's not the type of dog that I'm trying to, to bring to the table. You have to excuse my cow habits up there. Um, the dogs are, um, out there playing in the water in the pool, and when they come in, their feet can sometimes be a little bit wet and they'll track in like uh, feet marks all over the white cow hide. So when it's hot like this, I'll actually put it up. That way they don't get it all dirty. Um, but anyway, Cashmere's put up. She's in heat. Um, so the, she can't be out because it creates competition between the males. They can't control themselves. And um, they, they act like they don't know how to behave. Cashmere, quiet down! She's in there crying. Didn't like it. It was, you know, to be expected. Nobody wants to be put in a kennel, but unfortunately, that is the way that we handle it. Um, so yeah, so the new girl, unfortunately, she's just not gonna make the cut. I did say that I would give her a little bit of time, but the truth is, I, I spoke with my breeder friends and they were like, look, Rachel, that's not getting any better. Um, you know, like, you just, you don't want to breed that into your lines, you know, like, you don't, you don't currently have that problem, so there's no reason to introduce it into your lines, right or wrong. Um, so yeah, so, um, I don't know who I am. So my daughter's doing her hair right now, she's curling yeah. it, funny girl. Ah, ah, Belladonna, no, back off, now, go. Um, so anyway, it sucks, but it is the way it is. That's what it takes to have a quality breeding program. Um, I have been, I've had one person criticize me and say, hey, um, you're breaking your own rule. You're judging a dog, you know, um, before they're a year old. Well, that's because I never saw what she looked like at eight weeks. I saw pictures, but pictures um, can be very deceiving. And so... Um, what what is going on with her from what I can see is not just simple growing pains you know it's not that's not what it is um, you can see good structure on a dog you know what I mean and it, it and she just doesn't have it so I'm not the, the problem with waiting is that every month that she's here hell every day she's here and every time she eats she's costing me money and some people say, oh, all you care about is money, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Money is what pays my bills. And I don't have a lot of it. In fact, um, one of the... Quiet down. Um, uh, I have been hit by people that have been reporting my videos as not being advertiser friendly. And so um, they false report it. And while YouTube does eventually go and monetize it, um, and, you know, they're like, oh, well, it is friendly. Any money that, like, any ads, any views that took place during that time period of 
um, of them taking the, their time to monitor. To, what they do is, is somebody will flag it and then YouTube has to, I have to ask for a manual review and I have to wait in line until a, a human being gets on my channel, looks at the video and determines that it is in fact advertiser friendly. And they will re-monetize it, but during that process, which can take up to 24 hours, I don't make any money. Like the like that M M Brook uh, video, I didn't make anything off that video. Um, even though there are ads on it now, there were not ads on it during the time that that video got views, so I didn't make anything off of it. So everyone was asking me to do that video, I didn't even know about it, nor did I care about it. But now, um, it was a wasted day for me because of the fact that... I um, didn't make any money off that, and that was the only video that I put up for the day. So, if you like what I do, um, as you guys know, I normally don't go around, hey, you know, donate, blah, 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 but I actually have to say that now. If you like what I do, um, and you want me to be able to do more, then please definitely do hit up my Patreon. Even if it's only a dollar a month, it helps. Or you can also um, send me a donation via PayPal. I will be adding that to my um, description, my PayPal. And so um, there are people that, you know, as you guys know, every video I do, there's around 12 dislikes, um, up to 20 depending upon the video. And those people are the ones that are going and just, they're just trying to shut me down. And so, um, you know, any help that you guys can do uh, is greatly appreciated. Even if it's just getting merch or whatever it is, those kinds of things will go a long way. But I um, have bills. I have a mortgage. I have a, out, a car payment. I have um, the food payment for these dogs. Any vet bills, like I said, like taking care of this guy here, or in fact getting um, hips checked on this girl over here. All of that stuff costs money. And so when people think, oh, you make all this money on those dogs, I'm sorry, but there are costs involved in taking care of animals and just in everyday life. And so yeah, it, it doesn't add up. I'm not just some, you know, random person out there with my dogs in my backyard and I don't spend any money on them. I do. I spend a lot of money on my dogs. Um, so, you know, it's just the way it is. But like I said, if you like it, if you like my channel and you like what I'm doing, please consider donating because there are people that are trying to shut me down. And as many of you that have been longtime watchers know, I used to have a full-time job, a career in graphic design and IT, um, as well as like basically uh, we work, I worked for a small company and I was basically the one and only marketing department. And so I stopped that to do this because um, I was doing well on YouTube and it was um, getting to where I could actually, you know, have the luxury of being able to say, you know what, I actually will focus on this full time. And if, and if people keep doing this to me, then it will prevent me from being able to do that. Um, until YouTube figures out a way to handle false flagging, that is unfortunately going to be a problem. Um, I did look at it. There is a legal recourse I did speak, not speak with. I watched a YouTube video of a YouTube attorney um, it's basically a guy that is on YouTube that is an attorney and his channel is like something like that, like YouTube attorney. And, um, and he was saying that there are ways that I could go about doing it, but you know, once again, hiring a lawyer is expensive. So I may go about that. Um, I really don't like being oppressed by people. And when people go around making false claims about my videos just to try to make sure that I don't make any money off of them, is very 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 um irritating and it's wrong you know what i mean it's wrong and um, you may not like what i have to say you may not like what i do but that doesn't mean that you have a right to get in between my ability to support my family and so um so it's very very frustrating and like i said i have not uploaded a video yet that was not monetized by youtube manually whenever it was falsely reported as being not advertiser friendly. All of my videos have been approved for monetization through YouTube. So if they had a problem with what I was doing, best believe they would have um, not uh, approved it. Hey, get out of it, Trinity, now, stop it. She's trying to dominate Gina. Um, ooh, she's so much like Cashmere, it's not even funny. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, like I said, um, been frustrating a little bit um, having to deal with that. Things have been 
tight this month, and um, and I'm sure that, and I, I'll be honest with you, like, I considered not saying anything about it, because I was like, well, all it's going to do is embolden the people that are doing it. They're going to think, oh, yeah, we're winning, let's do it all the time. Um, and unfortunately, what I realized is, is that, yes, that is a risk that I take by saying something about it, quit, but the reality of it is, is that you guys can't um, do anything about it to help me out as as loyal subscribers of my channel if I don't say anything about it. So I'm saying something about it. Um, those of you that that want to help me out and try to um, you know try to push back against those people, please do. And um, yeah, and then like I said, what I may end up doing is having to basically only have like you know cute little like like other channels like oh look at my dog being funny look at them playing and only do stuff like that and then leave all of my training or correction videos or anything where it's like a hot topic like i did with the brooks thing i may end up having to only put those up on my patreon account for people that are patreon members and i don't want to do that but i mean what am i supposed to do whenever people are flagging my content you know what i'm saying like there's there's nothing that i really can do about that so um, it's, it's harassment as far as I'm concerned, um, but you know what, YouTube just hasn't quite evolved to be able to handle that yet. You know, there, it's just so bad. It's like back whenever Craigslist um, did their flagging thing, and it's like when you give other people the ability to shut others down, they will. You'll have competitors that would get on there and shut each other down. And it's just a nasty way to handle things. It really is. People are petty, and um, and you can't count on them to self-regulate each other, unfortunately. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. And, um, and so anyway, because if I end up having to go back to work, that's, you know, it's not going to stop me from still doing what I do with my dogs, but it is going to stop me from uploading for you guys. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just, it's just the way it is. I'm going to have to be like, an, like other breeders out there that, you know, you just, you never see anything from them. And I don't want to be like that, but I also have to be able to pay my bills. So, um, if this is going to continue to be a problem, then I'm going to have to think about that. So, like I said, um, if, if people just be willing to donate just like a dollar, then, you know, hey, that would be awesome. Um, you know, a dollar a month is fine. But, you know, um, but something's got to give because it's not going to work if people just keep doing this. And there's really no recourse for me other than going to YouTube, doing a manual review, having them approve it. And they're like, yeah, everything's fine. But guess what? You know, all my views happen in the first 24 hours. So... If, if, if it's not monetized for that, then I'm not getting anything. I'm, not, I'm basically wasting my time. And, and it's like, sure, um, it's not wasting your time. You get to watch something. You get to learn something from it. And you're benefiting from it. But I, like I said, live in a real world. I'm an adult and I have bills to pay. And these dogs don't cover it, okay? Um, they just don't. Anybody who thinks that breeding dogs is something that you can just do and not do anything else i'm sorry but it's not possible you, you literally are not going to be able to do that so anyway i'm going to end it now um sorry for the rant but like i said i normally don't go around telling people to go to my patreon or blah 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 because the views are enough honestly they were but now people are um, really trying to shut me down because they think I'm mean, they think I'm mean to my dogs, they hate breeders, they hate the fact that I crop my dog's ears. I mean, there's a number of things that are that are messed up and, and, and wrong in society where people think that they know more and they, basically, if you don't agree with what they say and do, they want to shut you down. They want to make sure that you don't get to say anything. So get, get out of it now. And so, um, and so anyway, so I... If, if you want to be able to see content like this, if you want a, a person that's honest with you and is real, then please support that um, those avenues because the views are not enough anymore, unfortunately. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, enjoy your Sunday, and I'll talk at you later. Bye.